Hey everybody, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 35 of quitting drinking alcohol. Now today I wanted to talk about doing things for the first time without alcohol. Now there's a lot of things we've all done in the past that have always involved alcohol. For me, the one I'm facing right now is going on vacation. I mentioned in the last video, I'm on vacation now, we're gonna be making plans to do things, and alcohol was always a part of my vacations. I would typically drink more on vacation than just being at home during a normal week, work week, you know? It was time to let my hair down and act like an idiot, you know? So, uh, long story short, um, you know, you got to prepare yourself for these firsts. And it can be things other than vacation. Maybe it's a wedding. Maybe it's a social event for work. Uh, maybe it's hanging out with friends, a birthday party, uh, holiday parties. Um, uh, maybe every time you went camping, you drink. Or every time um, you went to a certain restaurant, you drank at this particular restaurant. I mean, there could be a whole host of places you went and things you did where alcohol was always a part at that place or at that uh event in life. So um, one of the tips I gave yesterday was like preparing yourself when you start to quit drinking alcohol. You've also got to prepare yourself when you go to these types of events, occasions, celebrations, that type of thing. And so, um, you know, ask yourself, what am I going to drink at this event or on this vacation? For me, uh, one of the things we're going to do this um, vacation, because like I mentioned, the river got closed, and now we can't use our permits to float the lower road. So we're going to go camping up at a lake that I always went to, and I would always bring up beer and wine and all that stuff. And so um, I've really found that I enjoy drinking uh, sparkling waters, uh, the flavored sparkling waters, no sugar. It's basically carbonated water with natural flavors. And uh, for me, I don't like a lot of sweetsy drinks like sodas and stuff, but these are kind of honestly similar to like, you know, a beer in the sense that they're not sweet and they're carbonated. And I've just really found that I enjoy drinking those things. So I'm going to make sure I have an ice chest stocked full of those so that if I get a craving or when I'm really thirsty, I'm going to um, drink those. I know I'm going to have those there preparing, you know, and then, um, <clears throat> You know, the other thing is keeping yourself well hydrated and well fed during things like that. Keep the cravings down. If you let yourself just get super thirsty or super hungry, sometimes those cravings can kick in a little bit more. Um, the other thing is making plans what you're going to do every evening while you're camping, like for me. Um, you know, on this evening, we're going to um, sing songs by the campfire and do s'mores, let's say. Or, you know, if you come up with game plans on what you're going to do, and I'm going to be, I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to cook and barbecue every single evening so my wife doesn't have to. I like to, to uh, cook when I'm camping anyway. I'll do the dishes too. You know, if I just keep myself busy, I won't have time to drink. That's the other thing. And, or think about drinking. So, um, you know, I've already been spinning the wheels and making plans for my particular situation with this camping on the things that I'm going to do um, that are going to keep my mind off the drink and keep me busy and I'll have plenty to eat and drink of things that I enjoy other than alcohol. So, um, you know, and you got to do the same thing if you're going to go to a wedding, you know, okay, how am I going to say no when somebody offers me a drink? How am I going to, um, you know, what am I going to drink at that wedding? Are they going to have options? Do I need to bring my own things? You know, um, we can all, you know, prepare for these. And there's going to be some wild cards that maybe are, and it, uh, um, you didn't anticipate, you know, but I think that if you kind of play out some scenarios and we've all been to at least one way, you kind of know what's expected at some of these events, whether it's a work event or like I say, you're going to a restaurant, you kind of know uh, what's going to happen in these types of situations. And so you can play them out in your mind and go, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And then um, nothing's really going to throw you off guard too much, you know, so um like I say, there's just a lot of firsts in life that are going to be the most challenging the first time you do. But the second time, it's going to be easier. Third time, it'll be a piece of cake. You know, you've done it and, and uh, no big deal anymore. And also, the longer you go, like if you win a year without alcohol, and then all of a sudden you went to a wedding, you hadn't been to a wedding in a year, there may be a slight urge to drink just because you're at a wedding. But, you know, you're so far removed now, a year in, it's not near what it would have been had you gone to a wedding within the first two weeks of quitting drinking alcohol or something. In that situation, you really want to make sure you're prepared. Heck, maybe it means leaving the wedding early after the ceremony and, and a quick, you know, congratulations to the bride and groom and psh, beeline out of there. You, you know, 
in this situation, you got to do what takes care of you and staying off the drink first. If that means you just flat don't go to an event. That's more important, and I'm sure people would understand deep down if they knew what was going on with you than just showing up and, and going to drinking again and uh, wrecking your life, you know, all over again. So um, just think about that one, guys. You know, what are you going to do um, the first time you go on vacation, the first time you go to a work event, the first time you go to a wedding, uh, a holiday party, um, you know, uh, birthday parties, family gathering. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And I think, though, too, once you deal with one or two of these different things, if, even if it's a completely different type of event, you've already dealt with this one and that one, it's going to start getting a lot easier and stuff too. So, um, but, uh, and let the feeling, if it's a feeling of drinking at this event, let it come in. Don't, don't let fester on it. Let it flow out. Get up and do something. Go talk to somebody at the event, whatever it takes to get your mind off of it or you're feeling the past. If it's a thought, turn the dial down on that thought. Start thinking about something else. Go, you know, again, get up and do something. And just let those things flow in one side. Like I say, the water's coming. The, the thoughts are coming. The feelings are coming. You can't control this stuff that's coming at you. But you can process it and let it just flow out the other side of you and be like, sayonara, sucker, and keep on moving, you know. So um, make the plans, guys. Um, you can't. You got to live life. You can't just sit at home in a bubble and be like, no, I'm too afraid I'm going to drink. You know, I'm sorry, man. You got to get out and go for it and um, just make sure you're prepared and planned, you know. And I think you're going to have a much better experience if you do that. So... Um, day 35 guys is going good um, and um, yeah going strong so uh, if you're getting anything out of these videos give them a like uh, subscribe to the channel if you can uh, I've been doing these videos since day one of me quitting drinking I'm now on day 35 I'm going to be doing this for at least a year so you can follow my progression and uh, it's going to be uh, some good stuff so uh, remember guys sauce ain't the boss you are you guys have a great day.